goaltender, go for it! Hat Picks! Hello friends, Steve Dangle here, and welcome to another edition of Steve's Hat Picks, where we take a look at the best, had to get that out there, from the NHL over the past week. Remember I said we don't have enough Connor McDavid content? Our first hat pick is Connor McDavid content. Here's Connor McDavid getting his 800th career NHL point and Leon Dreisaitl getting his 700th career NHL point on the same goal because of course. Edmonton winless in four, but still with a victory tonight. No worse than four points out of the division lead. And the conference lead for that matter. McDavid finds Nugent Hopkins back for Dreisaitl shoots and scores. This game is tough. 800 points for McDavid, 700 for Dreisaitl. For Nugent Hopkins, that little hesitation, little freeze to get the bite, and then the shot, you know what? Zach Hyman is right over, all over. How do the Oilers keep getting the best one-two punch in a generation? Unreal, but fitting, that's a hat pick. Now, enough of that. Our next hat pick is also Connor McDavid. He scored 50 goals. Shot out by CC and now clean Costin. Out of the box, thrown in front and tapped home! Connor McDavid has hit 50 for the first time in his career! He's determined to get to that puck, nullify the icing. And then what a play he makes, little stop backhand pass to Connor oh. McDavid coming late. No chance on that one. Best hands in tight than anybody in the National Hockey League. How fast he can make that move. No chance for Swayman. When he takes this puck, fakes, and tucks it home. That goal's ridiculous. That number's ridiculous. It's February. How do you hit 50 goals in February? What year, what decade do you think it is? Connor McDavid is a menace and cannot be stopped. That's a hat pick. Now, McDavid's 50th goal of the season was against the Boston Bruins, but they had uh, um, a uh, highlight of their own. And I have a very common phrase. I'm, I'm sure you've heard it. Um, if you're a goaltender, 10 the goal. But unfortunately, I have had to change that phrase to, if you're a goaltender, go for it! Here's Connor Garland. Besser tips. Oh, the here we go. Homer for the empty net. He scores! Linus Omar, the Boston goalie, had time, had a lane, all by his teammates after one of the rare occurrences in the sport of hockey. Well, there it is, Omar, after that puck is tipped in, and celebrating with the rest of his team. Linus Omar scored a goal in a one goal game, by the way, like he, he was this close to screwing that up. The Canucks bat it down, they shoot it in, it's a tie game. He'd be in a different video this week and it wouldn't be on Tuesday. But this dude scored a goal and he might just win the Vesna trophy to boot. And I'm just gonna share this with you because I'm sure a lot of you were in the same boat as me. I have Linus Allmark on my fantasy team and I didn't get any points for the goal. I got two completely different responses on Twitter when I said that. Some of you were like, yeah, my pool doesn't offer it either, it's crap. And others were like, actually, we count it as 100 points. That's a dang it. But the goal, unreal. Hat pick. <sighs> Sticking with Boston Bruins noted goal scorers, move over, Linus Allmark. There's a new sniper in town, and his name is David Posternock. A pairing that was the result of the injury to Justin Schultz, and they've been great together for a few weeks now. Pasternak coming off wing. What a move! He scores! What a goal by David Pasternak! Drive this puck wide through Adam Larson, and look at that quickly going up over that glove side. There's no wasted time right to the forehand and is able to elevate that puck in a hurry over Grubauer's glove. Yeah, watch the stick handling here. Backhand, forehand, shovel, and over the glove of Philip Grubauer. Linus Olmark has as many hat picks this week as David Posternock. Dude, Posternock, just, what did Adam Larson ever do to you? That is not nice. That is not nice at all. Nah, nah actually, it's pretty nice. That's a hat pick. For our next hat pick, William Nylander, in overtime, decides, how about I just do everything? Nylander, watch by Gaudreau. Nylander tried to drive to the net. Good stick by Goudreau. Goudreau knocks it loose. Nylander picks his pocket. Works past Boldy. Cuts out front and scores. What a play by William Nylander. Goudreau's got 
inside position. Looks like he's going up the ice. And then it's one handed. This is stick. A little drag, and then he victimizes Boldy. A little goal line attack. Power move, patient. Brings it to the slot. Watch the move to get in front of Gustafson. Right here. Pulls it aside. Gustafson's got the stick ready for the poke check. Now he can't cover. Glove side. Nylander hits it. Beautiful goal from Nylander. Oh, yeah. Love the awareness on this goal. He sees Alex Goligoski up at the point. Hey, that's their defenseman. Stick lift to steal the puck. There's one guy left in front. And he does a little quick math. Well, the defender's over there. I just took it off that guy. So that means you're a forward. He attacks and demolishes Matt Boldy and beats Philip Gustafson to win the game. That's a hat pick. For our next hat pick, you ever had that dumb discussion where, where like there's a star player and you're like, you know what? If I played on his line, I bet I could score a goal. Well, lucky for you, Jack Hughes exists, so you might just be right. Um, but for me, it was that first hit. Getting a feel with the puck and moving it up. Here's Jack Hughes again. He spins, throws it in front, scores! Jesper Black taps it in! Picks up another assist. As the Devils come through the neutral zone with speed, they back off the flyer defense. And Nick Sealer, 101 with Hughes, and he stops on a dime. Twists, turns, and as he falls, finds Jesper Bratt right on the doorstep with a no look. Ugh. Listen, Jesper Bratt is a fantastic player. He's one of the more underrated players in the league. But all you got to do here with Jack Hughes on the ice when he's on one, as they say, just keep your stick down. That is a tap-in of a tap-in. Doesn't even celebrate. I mean, look at the score. But that is a hat pick. For our next hat pick, who has had more hat picks this season? Evgeny Malkin or Dennis Mulgan? I don't know the answer, but here's Dennis Mulgan. Straight up punch to the face as he did in that second period. Few heavyweights remain in the NHL and that category, here's a chance and a fabulous goal for the Colorado Avalanche. It's been around the league and a few different teams Look at the KHL last year for a while and he's pretty shifty here. And he just splits the defense and they get caught standing still. Zadorov, one of them. And you can see them back in Zadorov going for the big check. And Malkin just goes right around him and then finds some good pass marks to him on the short side. As he splits the defense. And then puts it up over top. Ew! That is a nasty one. And all you gotta do is give Malgan some time. And he can do that. He hasn't played a ton this season. But I remember in the preseason, and I know it's the preseason, but in the preseason with the Leafs, he scored a very similar goal. Dude's got good hands and he can rip it. That's a hat pick. Now for our next hat pick, it's Connor McDavid. Connor McDavid trying to rake it free. Hard battle on the half wall, and McDavid predictably wins it. Dashing to his right, looking to create shorthanded. Around Gaudreau to the net, scores! Connor McDavid! Scrum, you fish the puck up, and this is one guy that can get the top speed so fast. Bulkfist, no chance there. That should have been a penalty, I believe, with the, the arm into the, the body like that, but he fights through it as he often does, keeps it going, fends off one, there's another one. He fends that one off and then that quick release. You thought you were done with him. You're not. Dude, this goal in context is even more wild because the Blue Jackets were up 4 nothing on the Oilers. The Oilers bring it to within two, but then take a penalty. McDavid is out there killing that penalty and essentially scores this goal armed only with unbridled rage. If it is a day that ends with Y, you are not safe from Connor McDavid. That's a hat pick. For our next hat pick, do you remember the no-look goal we had from Alexander Barkov last week? It was pretty nice. So nice that Jamie Benn copied his homework word for word. One one, Ben with Johnston. Seth Jones is back. Ben scores! A couple of times, McCabe tries to make a play, and Gurionov just pokes it to Jamie Benn, and he calmly slides it between the legs. Great shot. Look at his head there, Jonesy. Maybe we could get a tight look at Jamie Benn. Maybe we could slow that look up a little bit and roll it back just a smidge. You know what? Hockey is a game of sounds, beautiful sounds. When skates just cut into ice perfectly, which mine never do. The ping off the bar when you go bar down. But super underrated when you just rip it five hole on a goalie and you get that thud. And to top it off, it's no look nasty goal. 
that's a hat pick. For our next hat pick, another team tries to have a comeback against the mighty Blue Jackets. Blue Jackets up 2-0, but Kirill Kaprizov decides, I'll do it myself! All right, that brings him within one, but where's the second? Kaprizov alone on front, he scores! All right, you brought it to overtime, but the job's not done, is it, Carroll? Blankenberg splits the defense, he's taken down, collides with Flurry. Addison with the puck. Zuccarello moves in, Kaprizov driving the net. Zuccarello for Addison, Kaprizov scores! The hat Okay, job's done. Pretty good. Carol Kaprizov scores a comeback hat trick just on his own. Unreal. That's a hat pick. That win is entirely on him. You can't more be the reason that your team won. That's wild. Oh, eh, I didn't even mean to do that. For our next pair of hat picks, I've seen the debate. Who is the better goaltender? Igor Shosturkin or Andre Vasilevsky? May I present to you the case for Igor Shosturkin? Sonny Milano. For Sherry, he has Van Riemsdyk chugging toward the net. Sherry fanned on a pass, got it to Van Riemsdyk, and a beautiful save with the right pad by Shesterkin. Sherry loses the puck and he's going to stay with it. Look, it's a wide open net. Van Riemsdyk shot just the That is a stupendous save that JVR would have scored TVR, but whatever, he's not JVR, is he? Big stop from the reigning Vezina winner. That's a hat pick. But what about Andre Vasilevsky? Let's see from him. Plays it back. Bertuzzi on the prowl. Larkin able to keep it in. Find oh. Perron. Skate the stick. Across. Oh! And Bertuzzi couldn't bury that. Oh As Vasilevsky with that reach got over left pad in the post. Well, there's another scoring chance. That one for sure. Holy smoke. Bertuzzi wanted to go just inside the goalpost. He got it over a little bit further and that allowed Vasilevsky you don't do the splits anymore. What? I, I don't know how to ask this question without sounding weird, but what are his groin muscles made of? I'm just saying, if I tried to do the exact same movement as Andre Vasilevsky, the snap could be heard from Europe. You're not supposed to be that big and that flexible. That is absolutely ridiculous. What a hat pick. And funny enough, both of those saves, I don't think are the save of the week even. This save from Laurent Brassois might just be the save of the year. You tell me. Take a look. A save, Ottinger! Good chance for Eichel to win it. Back the other way comes Robertson. With second on the odd man rush. Robertson a shot! Save Brassois! Petrangelo lost it! And Sagan couldn't bury it! Well, I know, I know. Watch again. You're gonna wanna see the other angles. I, he hits it with the back of his arm! Oh. Big save here, the puck's down, out, Robertson digs it out, and Stevenson, as Sagan lets the shot go, watch the glove hand of Lombosois, they said, at this point, you're just in desperation, this is just unbelievable, acrobatics, this is doing whatever you can to keep the puck out, he's going to throw his left arm back, there it is! <laughs> it's so weird that Dominic Hasek basically made a career off of doing that all the time, which is why he's on absolutely every hockey fan's goalie Mount Rushmore, unless they're bad and wrong, but that is, that's simply stupendous stuff. Cannot believe he gets to that, and in overtime, in overtime. That's a hat pick. And for our final hat pick, a little bonus for you. We don't often show these, but it's a highlight, a hat pick even, from the AHL. Here's Ruslan Ishikov. Sam Harrison will see his first penalty shot against this year. The AHL All-Star is in, wide right, holds, waits, and he scores! Oh my goodness! A highlight real goal, the all-star. An unbelievable tally from right in front of the net. That's stupendous for a few reasons. Number one, you don't see guys in the NHL doing that, or maybe once ever. It looks familiar. Was it Getzlaff? I'm, I'm not sure. But it's one thing if you're just screwing around in the shootouts because, I don't know, just 
do whatever. It's the shootout. This is a penalty shot, like halfway through the game. Who even thinks to do that on a penalty shot halfway through the game? What a move, what a finish, what a goal. That's a hat pick. So that is it for this edition of Steve's Hat Picks because someone was probably traded in the last 20 minutes. Odds are, thank you very much for watching. Click like if you like this video. Click subscribe if you really liked it. Tell all your friends. Trade deadline's Friday. I know what you're doing.